In this lesson, we will learn to represent a binary relation in graphical form, tabular form, and using arrow diagram. Here, we are given a question in which we define a relation R on set X in such a way that R consists of all those ordered pairs X, Y, where X is less or equal to Y. Represent this relation in graphical form, tabular form, and arrow diagram. Let's get started. And we have X here x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. If this is set x, now instead of writing the whole cross product of x cross x and then looking for the subsets of x cross x, we will rather write directly the relation r. Because if x is a large set, it really becomes difficult to find x cross x because of its cardinality. It does have so many numbers, it's practically impossible to write the Cartesian product of x cross x if x is a big set. So let's write the relation R. And here we are going to write only those pairs of x cross x in which the first element is less than the second element. So this would be 1, 1, because the condition is that x is less or equal to y. It can be equal to y as well. So 1, 1 is included in this, 1, 2 is included 1, 3 is included, and 1, 4 is included. 1, 4 is included here, and next is 2, 2, and 2, 3 is included, 2, 4 is included, and 3, 3 is included, 3, 4 is included, and the last one is 4, 4. This is included. Now we can close this. So this is the relation in which the required condition is true. This is collection of all those ordered pairs in which the first element of the ordered pair is less than or equal to the second element of the ordered pair. Now we are going to represent this relation in graphical form and the first element of ordered pairs always goes on x-axis. Remember this thing, important. Let me write it down here. Important that first element, first element of every ordered pair, every ordered pair is always graphed, always graphed on x-axis, on x-axis. So let's write down 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here will be 1, then will be 2, then will be 3, and then will be 4. So these are first element of the ordered pairs. And now 1, 1 will be, 1, 1 is, or similarly you can write 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here the first pair, 1, 1 is right here, and then 1, 2, 1, 2 is right here, 1, 2, and then 1, 3 is right here, and then 1, 4 is right here. Next, 2, 2 would be here, and then 2, 3 
and then 2 4 and then 3 3 this is 3 3 and then 3 4 is right here and then 4 4 will be right here so you can see this is an upper triangular shape if we look at the formation of the dot if it looks like it's an upper triangle and if it was the instead of this condition x is less than or equal to y if the condition was x equal to y then what would be the shape of the graph that's just for you guys to think and try to answer this and but i'm going to represent the same relation in arrow diagram now and on arrow diagram i will again write the elements of x here and because the relation is defined from x to x so let me write down the name of this relation here this is the relation and the name of relation is r so that should be written here and one two three and four one two three and four and one is related to one so this means that we have a line extending from one and then one to two is related as well one to two one to three is related one to four is there so this is how we perform these operations two to two is there so this is two to two two to three is there and then two to four is here and then three to three is here three to three and then three to four and four to four this is here this is representation of the same relation using arrow diagram and here you can see that we have represented the same relation using a graphical representation and this on the left hand side is the tabular form and that's it in this relation in this uh, lesson we'll see you in the next